Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kaplan USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. I am, once again, Dr. Jason Fernasiak, and we are here with this week's clinical vignette. As always, we will go through the right and wrong answers and high-yield points to help you increase your score on the boards as well as take better care of patients on the wards. Let's jump right into the vignette. An investigational oral contraceptive causes less weight gain than other oral contraceptives because it contains a unique progestin that blocks mineralocorticoid receptors. 100 consecutive female participants are instructed to take 21 days of active pills containing the progestin and ethanyl estradiol, followed by seven days of placebo. Based on the data shown, which of the following parameters is most likely being measured? Is it A, aldosterone, B, angiotensin II, C, pH, D, potassium, or E, sodium? The answer in this case is D, potassium. Now, since the new investigational combination drug is blocking the mineralocorticoid receptors, the actions of aldosterone will be antagonized during the first 21 days of the cycle. Sodium resorption and secretion of potassium and hydrogen ions should be diminished. The decreasing potassium and hydrogen ions will be seen in the urine. Now remember for the graph, we are seeing urine potassium levels. This is not measuring the serum. Important on the uh, boards to make sure that you look at the graph carefully so that you understand very clearly what it is measuring. Actions of the mineralocorticoids are relatively slow and so the progestin will need several days to rise to steady state levels, yielding the graph that is seen. Let's review some of the drug effects. Aldosterone and angiotensin II, choices A and B, would be expected to be elevated during the first 21 days due to the suppression of aldosterone action, which releases negative feedback on the renin, angiotensin, and aldosterone system. There are going to be fewer hydrogen ions in the urine, and thus urinary pH, which is choice C, would actually increase. Sodium resorption is going to be impaired, and thus urinary levels of sodium would also increase. The key takeaways, an antagonist at the mineralocorticoid receptor will block the actions of aldosterone during the first 21 days of the menstrual cycle. Sodium resorption and potassium and hydrogen ion secretion would be diminished, decreasing potassium, hydrogen, potassium and hydrogen ions in the urine. This is our clinical vignette for this week, along with the high yield takeaway points. I'm Dr. Jason Fernasiak. I hope that you have learned something that will help you both on the boards and the wards. We'll be back soon with yet another clinical vignette. Take care.